Placed in a disinfected coffin, Madupe Cole is buried without ceremony far away from his loved ones. An eminent doctor in Freetown's largest hospital, he died less than two weeks after being exposed to the Ebola virus. When we had this outbreak, some patients were moving all over the country. He was at Freetown managing patients and it was hard for him to explain how he contracted the disease. In the east of Sierra Leone in Kenema, the epicentre of the world's worst ever outbreak of Ebola, another doctor is mourned. Humar Khan is believed to have saved dozens of sufferers before himself falling victim. Faced with an outbreak of such a deadly virus, the loss of doctors and nurses willing to put themselves in harm's way for the good of others is a double blow. Fifteen of our health workers from this case management centre have passed away. When somebody dies of Ebola, that time the virus is very virulent. And in that case, we have to handle that corpse very well in order not for us to be infected. Ebola has killed at least 1,145 people in West Africa since the start of the year. And Sierra Leone's quarantine towns of Kanema and Kailahun account for the lion's share of the country's near 800 cases. Emmanuel recently lost his wife, nurse, at Kanema Hospital. They gave them protective gears, but the gears were not like well protected and even the use of it was not, the information was not well passed. So she fell victim. The social support to the family is not much. They gave 21 days uh, uh, quarantine to the, to, the, to the family. Around a million people in the two quarantine districts are unable to come and go without government permission. But regional authorities claim they are learning lessons and working to reduce the infection rates. We train them every two weeks. We are not doing refresher training. Every two weeks. We make sure no mistake is made there. A total of 32 nurses have died from the Ebola virus in Sierra Leone while performing their duties over the last three months. And others continue to risk their lives for the sake of the few who will survive it and be given a clean bill of health.